Song of Myself, Section 47, by Walt Whitman. Read by Alan Davis Drake. I am the teacher of athletes. He that by me spreads a wider breast than my own proves the width of my own. He most honors my style who learns under it to destroy the teacher. The boy I love, the same becomes a man not through derived power, but on his own right. Wicked rather than virtuous, out of conformity or fear, fond of his sweetheart, relishing well his stake. Unrequited love or a slight cutting him worse than sharp steel cuts. First rate to ride, to fight, to hit the bull's-eye, to sail a skiff, to sing a song or play on the banjo. Preferring scars and the beard and faces pitted with smallpox over all latherers, and those well tanned to those that keep out of the sun. I teach straying from me, yet who can stray from me? I follow you, whoever you are, from the present hour. My words itch at your ears till you understand them. I do not say these things for a dollar, or to fill up the time while I wait for a boat. It is you talking just as much as myself. I act as the tongue of you, tied in your mouth. In mine it begins to be loosened. I swear I will never again mention love or death inside a house, and I swear I will never translate myself at all, only to him or her who privately stays with me in the open air. If you would understand me, go to the heights or water shore. The nearest gnat is an explanation, and a drop or motion of waves a key. The maul, the oar, the handsaw, second my words no shuttered room or school can commune with me but roughs and little children better than they the young mechanic is closest to me he knows me well the woodsman that takes his axe and jug with him shall take me with him all day the farm boy ploughing in the fields feels good at the sound of my voice in vessels that sail my words sail I go with fishermen and seamen and love them. The soldier camped or upon the march is mine. On the night ere the pending battle, many seek me, and I do not fail them. On that solemn night, it may be their last, those that know me seek me. My face rubs to the hunter's face when he lies down alone in his blanket. The driver thinking of me does not mind the jolt of his wagon. The young mother and old mother comprehend me. The girl and the wife rest the needle a moment and forget where they are. They and all would resume what I have told them. This recording is in the public domain.